Welcome back, everybody. Oh, this is a big hit. We knew it was coming. I didn't think it'd be this severe, though. Um, but this is insane. They may have, they have super weakened Wonder Woman and Batman decks, and we use Batman with pretty much every deck. We may be considering, um, Batgirl instead now. Although Batman is like the ride or die, but dang, dude. Just for raw loyalty as a character, he's awesome. And because Kevin Conroy passed. Dang, dude. Can at least be celebrating Kevin Conroy till up to the release of the latest video game that we'll have, which will be Suicide Squad. Which, if able, I will get a hold of. Um. I don't even think it's pre orderable yet. I'll have to look, because maybe it is, but I generally wait. But yeah, here's the freaking changes. They said blah, 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 blah. We're trying to put them more in line. Yeah, as you know, and, and Tax ended up to a bit overshoot power level, both having a very- I'll just read it. Having a very high density, powerful early and mid-game cards, as well as some problems with Wonder Woman and Batman leaders. In later case, we've elected to take a more indirect approach to a nerf, taking uh, taking cards like Batwing or Alfred down a peg or three. I'm just going to quickly read through that. Hopefully you can understand that. Other factions have also received some buffs. Tyranny getting a bit more... Help or, and more um, recruit removal vector, for example. The, the most noteworthy of these effects may be the several buffs to Green Lanterns, which have not quite been doing for the metagame what we had hoped they would. Yeah, Green Lanterns in theory are very strong. It's just hard to pull that off. Also, I don't think enough people have Green Lantern as a hero. Like, I don't have them. So it's super hard to pull off the Green Lanterns. It's also very hard to actually get them all. In some ways, might and tactics are intended to be the most well-rounded of the factions, perhaps, but we end up we ended up in a world where they were too good at, at everything. That was obvious to any card game pro. Hence also the nerf to Truth and Justice, the prior version which was allowing this well-rounded deck to also have access to an absolutely crushing late game play, both in terms of immediate impact and control style inevitability through leader attacks, which barely requires setup or context. Yeah. That, that was pretty insane, oh god. The fact that they had permanent buffs. But, like, they've now removed these permanent buffs when... Although, oh, I guess that's the point, though. Because, yeah, that deck had, like, everything. and had permanent buffs and all this other stuff. Like, I still don't think it should have it, the buff cards be so as permanent as they are. But we'll see. Because these are huge nerfs. We're going to see. We may bring out our Batman uh, Wonder Woman deck now. And just see how it does. But I'm really curious about to see some of these other changes. Thank you. Thank you for... For all the play and feedback you've given so far, all the data has been immensely helpful in looking at how the game performs in a live environment, getting a more balanced place. Yeah, but we use Batman all the time and he's going to get super weakened in his whole deck. Well, a good chunk of it. Our favorite cards actually will be. But they did seem overpowered, so it is what it is. Yeah, if it comes to a point where I just can't win because these cards have been so nerfed as Batman, I may just put the game on a hold. But we'll see. I mean, as is, I barely have already done that. But we'll see. Maybe these ferritizations will revitalize it. And we do have tons of other decks with Batman, and we could just vary it up and not use Batman, theoretically. If you really can't win. But that's what annoys me, because this game does not pay you out on a loss like Marvel. Um, like Marvel Snap does. Marvel Snap pays you out on a loss, so you're still progressing even if you lose. This game has no pr progression if you lose. It makes it feel like a waste of time when you fight a guy with like a thousand dollar deck and just decks you without more. And he just freaking just decks you and destroys you. It's just like, wow. Thank you for, like, it's just, I mean, I personally enjoy it, but it does feel like a waste of time when there are other games that could be showing you guys off. And I'm not progressing in that game. It's a huge critical error with the game. Losing, you should be paid out. Now, yes, in a real life scenario if you're playing a card game yeah you, you don't gain anything from losing most of the time but certain tournaments always give you booster packs no, no matter what win or loss at least for the card games i've been to in the tournaments um but anyway that that is what it is and i'm i'm still gonna stay free to play in the game uh, by the way but anyway let's see let's just see how that new experience is I think I want to use Flash today, but I did just make the other deck, and there is other content that I want to get out with people. So I'm not sure how crazy we'll go this th today in this update, but I will be checking all, probably all of our new decks. Just to see how the balance change works with Batman and everything. Lex Luthor Leader now says 
Okay, yeah, and this Batman has 18 health instead of 19 health. That was pretty huge, because I was living off one health before sometimes. That is fairly huge. The Flash Leader. But, but like, once again, they're doing blatant nerfs. Not necessarily realizing that you just made Batman weaker everywhere, even in a Batman Batgirl deck. Which the Batman Batgirl deck didn't seem that powerful. It's good, but it didn't seem that insano powerful. But I do understand that they, because like, and that could just be a Batgirl issue, I'm not sure. Because maybe they'll just fix that on the Batgirl end. But anyway, the Flash, and uh, Batman did seem like a no-brainer to always bring him, basically, because of, of his free stuff, free attacks. The Flash Leader now has 19 health and had 17. I would have won so many games as Flash, I wouldn't have three and a half hours of losing as Flash had he had this before. I don't know why they thought 17 was okay for Flash. I really don't. At least for starter decks. Like, if you're a huge pay to winner, maybe that isn't true, but they still felt that was true. The devs were they wouldn't have changed this. Lex Luthor Leader now says, KO a recruit if they were friendly, sacrifice them to draw two cards, and charge Lex Luthor three times. Three times? Isn't that more? I didn't have Lex Luthor. I'm not entirely sure. I thought he only charged himself two times after that. They, I think they buffed Lex Luthor to give him more nuke power. That's what they were saying up above. Truth and Justice now says, give your recruits 2-2 two, two, and shield. Now, that used to give 2-2 two, two to also the heroes. It didn't have the shield functionality. It, it Now having a shield functionality could be even better. That's hilarious to me. Mike, what have they done? They're giving it a shield ab ability. This may have no problem at all. Them waiting, all this other stuff may not matter because you just gave a card shield that didn't have it before. It is a gold, though. The gold does need to have value. Because with four people out... Not just giving shield at all, if you have slayers, oh my goodness. Which are called, um, lethal in this game. Superman Robot is now a 2-1, was a 2-2. Two, two. That's brutal, he has shield too, Superman Robot. Yeah, Superman Robot was just a no-brainer. At least now he can be killed by Batarang. Or just if he's hit at all with any Joker power and his shield is down. Amazonian Bracers now says give a friendly recruit plus 3 health and aura. That used to give one attack as well, I think. I don't know if I ever played that one. I don't think I had remade the deck by the time I got that card. Upgraded Bandages now says heals 3 from a friendly character and give them plus 1 health. What? Oh, no, and give them pl Oh, plus one health, shield. Oh, I see. Yeah, that was overpowered before. The upgraded bandages, what, did they heal six or something? It was so overpowered. Well, we didn't have Lucius Fox to trigger this. And now they're, they're saying Alfred was overpowered. I highly question that. Alfred Pennyworth now says deploy if you have a... Batman leader. Draw card, start, create a bandage in your hand, and now has 2-2, two, two. was a 1-1. One, one. Huh? Bring, bring Batwing or Alfred down a peg, or three. How does that bring him down three pegs? Maybe they're talking about Batwing and we haven't gotten to him yet. Now it says deploy. If you have a Batman leader, draw a card. Rather than a char rather than charging him. I believe he charged him before. Start. Oh, did he charge him at the start of every turn before? No, this deploy draw a card. Start. Create a bandage in your hand. Now has two two. What's a one one? This is crazy to me. You just weakened his ability to be played with Batgirl immensely. Immensely. I don't know if they're thinking that right about these cards, and their full context to play. This may need a buff to say if you have Batgirl... Like, charge, maybe? I don't know. This is odd to me, but I don't have all the blue cards. I don't know for, cer for certain how crazy strong the deck's gonna be with deploys. Create a bandage in your hand, and now 
And is now a 2-2. Was it 1-1? Yeah, they, they nerf buffed him. That's so weird. So we're going to bring him down pegs, and then you buff him. His hit points. I quite like that, though. Come on now. Pennyworth can... As is, I think he's going to lose to a basic mugger with this, because it's still going to do 2 damage back to him. I could be wrong, though. Like, Alfred can't beat up regular people, even in his elderly age. Come on now. Commissioner Gordon is now a 2-1, was a 3-3. That is an insane bo a debuff to him. Mm, although I do like the fact that they're saying Alfred is stronger than Commissioner Gordon. This is probably canonical. I like that. Well, actually, I don't know. Well, it feels canonical to me anyway. Um, Commissioner Gordon is now a 2-1, was a 3-3. He probably still has the same power. Now, this one sucks. Batman Cape Crusader is now 4-4... What's the 6-6? Six, six? Which Batman are they talking about? Is this the gold Batman? Or is this the Batman that's summoned with Spotlight? I'm not even sure. They both were 6-6, six, six, I think. Maybe it's both that they weakened. Bat Batwing is now a 3-3. Three, three. What's a 3-4? That's a barely a change to Batwing. That's still pretty huge, though. But that's barely a change to Batwing. That's fine. But we can still play him. He's, he's still playable in those decks. I was concerned that we may have to pull out Batwing. He's one of my favorite characters, though. Lucius Fox's son. He's awesome. Devil's Knight now says recruit... I didn't even have this card. Devil's Knight now says give your recruits plus two power. I have no idea what that was before. Oh no, they nerfed Man Bat! Kind of. It's a nerf buff. Man Bat is now a 4-1, was a 3-2. Dang it, we never got to use Man Bat. I, my freaking favorite... DC villain. He's actually borderline one of my all-time favorite villains. Him and Mr. Sinister. Dang, dude. He was so cool. But they are weakening the other decks, dude. Like, Man Bat was overpowered. He was literally a no-brainer. At least now he can die to a Batarang. Which might even be canonical from the 90s show episode 1. 90s Batman episode 1. That's where Man Bat was invented. The legendary... That show that made Man Bat, at least Man Bat and Harley Quinn, who knows what else. And gave Mark Hamill the freaking voice acting role of his lifetime, along with Kevin Conroy. Um, Parasite, I don't, didn't have this card too. Now it says deploy and deal two damage to two random enemies. Wait, maybe I did have this one. Two enemies. Parasite gets 1 1 for each damage dealt. Oh, it's a character, and now a 1 1 was a 2 2. It's now a 1-1. What's a 2-2? Two, two? Yeah, they're not always saying the was. The for health, they're saying it was, but they're not saying it was for the power, which Marvel Snap would do. But this, is, but this isn't fully released. whack -a man now deals um, 5 damage to a random enemy. That was 4. Wait, whoa, well, it's the 4 to an enemy you choose. It wasn't random before. Wait, was it always random? Is that why that guy rage quit? Because he was trying to kill my cyborg with it? And it just didn't happen? Interesting. Lightning Arc now says deal 5 damage to a, to an enemy and 1 damage to each adjacent enemy. It's so insanely good. Lightning Arc is crazy good. Oh, Chip. He's the um, chimpanzee detective. Now says deploy. You may pay bronze to give Chip... Oh no, Chip is a little squirrel. The lantern squirrel. Chip. Now says deploy. You may pay bronze to give Chip and a random green lantern in your hand to do an aura. Is now a free cost was bronze and is now a and is now one one was a two two. Okay, those are nerf buffs. These are the lantern for us buffing. I don't know if we have enough to add them to our flash deck, but I think we're gonna edit our flash deck and play it. Um, Simon Boz now says deploy. You may pay bronze. Give Simon Boss and a random Green Lantern in your hand, plus four health, and oh wait, and is now is now a four one was a three two. Oh, interesting. Jessica Cruz now says deploy. You may pay bronze. Now says deploy. You may pay bronze. Give Simon a random Green Lantern plus four health, and is now oh I think it was three before. It's so a 4-1. What's 3-2? Oh, wow! He's now a 4-1! They're just turning them in all into blitz stacks. That's brutal. He was very solid as a 3-2 before. 
But that's where they're still giving the blue deck some some fire. And the other decks, like uh, Joker. Joker's ability, more more um value of the one damage. Mr. Cruz now says, deploy, you may pay bronze to give... Oh, also, they may be upping the attacks of this stuff because you can use the speed force to remove their summoning sickness rather than attack again. Oh, huh, the game that we... Game that I might play today, maybe going down with server if I don't play it now. We'll see. Maybe I won't do this stuff today, then. Oh, no, we'll just see how it goes. I'll have to check on that. Um. J Jessica Cruz now says, Deploy, you may pay bronze to give Jessica Cruz and a random green lantern in your hand, plus four power. That's higher, too. It is now a one, four. Was it two, three? Oh, that's... Different. Dude, I feel like just because they're female, they're lowering their attack to crazy low. What is this, DC? Why does she have to have, like, crazy weak attack? As was her having less attack than the other guy was questionable. Well, that could be canonical, but... Well, Solstice... I don't know if we have Solstice. It's now a 5-5. Five, five, was a 5-4. Oh, they buffed her. Jon Stewart... Is now a 5-4, was a 3-5. Yes, that's my favorite Green Lantern. Yes. Although Nathan Fillion's voice as the uh, Hal Jordan is pretty great too. But Jon Stewart's word out from the Justice League cartoon back in the day. Heck yeah. Supersonic Puncher now says, Give a friendly recruit plus 4 power and invincible this turn draw a card. Well, they had a draw power to that? Oh, that may have made it worth playing again. I think I took it out. Depend on the, the deck. Lasso of Truth now has a free cost. Was bronze? Wait, what? They buffed Lasso? I don't even think I have the Lasso. Matron is now a four ten. Was it two ten? What? What? They have no idea what they just did with this. Isn't this the guy that draws cards? That we were 1,000% completely demolished by his mere existence. Because he let him get his gold so there's only one of a deck. And it was basically guaranteed because the dude, dude drew more than half his deck with this card alone. What the fa? Deimos is now a 2-3. What's it 2-2? Two, two? Ooh! Shadow's Blade now says give a friendly recruit ambush and lethal this turn. I think maybe it just gave lethal? I don't know if that was a nerf or a buff to Shadow's Blade. I, we do have that. Indoctrinate now says put a non-gold enemy recruit into your deck. Well, they nerfed Indoctrinate. That Didn't that used to bring it to the field? Any card from the enemy? Okay, so there are nerf buffs here. Okay. Yeah, I figured this would be a video in and of itself. It was big patch changes. Big patch cha patch changes. Um... This is a mulligan timing out. Wait, gameplay. Fix for target arrow. Sometimes missing leaders for activating their build. That's good. Fixes for mulligan timing out. That's weird. Players should no longer have their turn skip or end early in some circumstances. Someone Gurney can now correctly be targeted after using his parting shot. Ah, uh, while Gurney was becoming invincible, what in the world? That's somewhat canonical. He can be very hard to actually hurt. I'm glad they fixed though. Fix for pressing X button on loading screen. You can let resolve this issue with the dupe protection when it comes to deluxe cards. Oh, dang. Um, I wouldn't get that. Fix again for the issue with the ghost packs being in your pack opening screen. Faction card packs now have their appropriate faction icon. Oh, that's cool. Fix for the um, sound effects during Mission 1 Choice and Justice League Origin Part 1. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even know there were errors. Um, UI improved to, although it did stop playing sounds at certain parts, so they may fix that. You want to improve to better display items you receive in a bundle from the store. Just the Origins Part 2 no longer appears to give out the wrong um, card back. Very nice. I'm very disappointed it didn't give out the other one. That was like a, oh, a exclusive beta person only for the Batman cover back. That sucked. I wanted that. They may have, to, in their defense, though, they may have technically let me in, the, in that the last two days. I just couldn't find the freaking email because the email is freaking ridiculous and you have to put in the exact name of the thing to find it. Even though I literally searched their name. But now I know. 
Uh, no issues. Reconnect is now in the built-in, but still, yeah, those things before the Brave and the Bold start back does not appear until the, after relog. How is this not fixed? How is this not fixed? That must have some crazy core issue. What? Profile pictures and message currently have some graphical issues. Uh, newly recreated accounts. Lex Luthor is currently re is re requiring you to press the rewards button twice like a supervillain. <laughs> That's still in it. Um, when a card game is invincible, the tooltip will be empty on the zoom. Okay, that matters for the new card. Some new cards gave it more invincible. Preset decks will duplicate once after the user read logs. What the hell? So selecting multiple cards to mulligan will cause the red X to fade and reappear. Okay. The select faction counter highlight is a misaligned and overlaps with the other faction in the collection. There's more than just that overlapping. I can tell you that. They may not be aware of that. Damn, well, we have to send that video into him. The cards themselves will overlap and become unplayable, and, th and then the freaking hand itself will go over the charges of the leader, so you won't know how many leader charges they have. Which is also critically game-breakingly bad. Although they could fix that quickly by just being able to right-click a leader and see how many charges they have on their card. Attacks against an, an enemy leader will not update in the game log immediately. Okay, that's still there. In some cases, lag can cause a unit to temporarily display incorrect health values before updating. So they got that one in there that we noticed, but that, the, the literally break and move around the field, we'll see. Maybe they fixed that without saying they fixed it. Um, anyway, then, thank you uh, so much for going in here. Uh, there's new decks. I don't know. I actually don't know time-wise if I'll, play, if I'll um, go too crazy in the new decks. We may just hop in and maybe not use our new cards, maybe? Yeah, I'd rather want to use Flash. We could just see. We could just hop in immediately and see if this Flash deck is made better or not. Um, I may just look real quick to see if new cards... Because I don't think we got that many new green cards. They also should have technically buffed one of Zatanna's moves. Which I do want to be like Zatanna Batman main. That'd be super cool. Although I do have Batgirl now too, which was insanely fun to play. But the nerfs to Batman, I really don't know if this deck is going to win again. <laughs> it's how bad the Batman buffs were. I do not know if Batman should have been nerfed in that particular context, but I don't have all the blue cards that could be correct. Also, the Alfred nerf makes it basically pointless to charge him with Batgirl's power, which is insane. It's just draw a card. Ooh, whoop de doo Now, that could still be game-winning, though, so I can't entirely diss it until I try it. But we'll see what's going on here. Thanks so much for watching me. Tail eternally. Be retold. Stay awesome. Wait, wasn't it showing the game itself? There you go. Sorry about that. I, I had the freaking launcher in that OBS, not the actual game itself, to display it. Thanks so much for watching, and stay awesome, Gotham.